Hi there, I'm Lauren, this is Brain Stuff, and our question for the day is why shouldn't you give honey to babies? And it's not because bees and babies have some kind of ancient grudge match, probably. Uh, no, it's because of botulism. Now, botulism is a condition. It's a poisoning by the neurotoxin botulinum. It's named after these bacteria, Clostridia botulinum, that produce this neurotoxin just as a byproduct of existing. Now, when it gets in the human body, this toxin attaches to nerve endings that stimulate muscles, and it blocks them, preventing them from doing their jobs. This leads to a feeling of weakness, and in severe cases can cause immobilization or even death from respiratory paralysis. It's a less cartoony version of the Joker's laughing toxin. These bacteria are pretty common, but lucky for us, they're killed by oxygen. And, as I've mentioned before on this show, there's a good amount of free-range oxygen in our air. Unfortunately, they've adapted to form spores around themselves that lie dormant until they find themselves back in an oxygen-free environment. Now, when adults get botulism, it's usually from improperly canned food. During the canning process, if the food is heated properly, it'll destroy the spores. But if it's heated improperly, the bacteria can activate once the can has been sealed, creating that oxygen-free environment that they grow in. That's why you shouldn't eat food from bloated cans. Uh, the bloat comes from rapid bacterial growth that creates a lot of toxin in the food. Side note, dented cans are totally fine. Okay, so we all know that babies are completely incompetent at operating can openers. The thing is that honey frequently contains a few spores of Clostridia botulinum. Bees accidentally pick them up while they're out collecting nectar. Now, adults with functioning immune systems and established intestinal flora, that's, you know, the, the helpful gut bacteria, can handle a couple of spores, but babies can't. So when the botulinum gets into the oxygen-free intestines of the baby, they can activate and poison the baby. This is all scary. Botulism is one of the most toxic compounds known to humankind. It can kill on the magnitude of nanograms. That's a millionth of a gram. That's really tiny. But it can also be used as a medical treatment. When it's diluted, doctors can inject it in patients who have overactive muscle disorders that affect their mobility or their eyesight. And have you heard of Botox? That's carefully controlled botulism in your face. So, that should just about wrap up this question, but if you have any other questions that you'd like us to answer in the future, just leave a comment below. If you liked the video, hit the like button, insane I know, um, and if you really liked it, hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next one, and we'll talk to you again really soon.